order of monarchy. This was object number 853. You will not find this object in its entirety, for Legion has already claimed the part he wanted, but neglected the part he needed. Do not go after this part of the object unless you are highly skilled in the game of chess. However insignificant it feels in the hands of the Seeker, Legion has made a grave mistake, and the remaining part of this object may hold the key to complete and utter destruction of the remaining 2,000 objects. Go to any park in any suburban area just on the outskirts of its metropolitan neighbor at about 200 a.m. Make sure this park has chessboards in the open. If you have found the right park, you will find a withering old lady sitting stationary at one of the chessboards. Should you see a young boy within any vicinity of the park, you are not the one meant to hold this object, and you must keep your head down and briskly slip away before he notices you. Keep walking until you find a statue of any kind of person sitting in a throne in a different park and shelter there until 1.52 p.m. later that day. He is not what he appears. He is the old lady's grandson, and he will not appreciate strangers harassing her. Hope you like kids literally biting your ankles for all eternity. If there is no young boy, you may sit across from the old lady. You will notice that the air within her presence will grow denser and colder than any foggy London morning. Do not speak a single word. Do not ruffle your clothes in the cold. Do not even breathe loudly. You will not want to disturb her concentration. After what seems like hours, she will speak. Typical elderly conversation. Back in the days. Type of topics. You must remain silent and only nod in acknowledgement. No matter how positively tempting it is to respond to any of her questions, you must not speak. She may look old, but don't be fooled. She's faster than any bullet and stronger than any ox. She won't hesitate to crush your windpipe in less than a second if she thinks you are rude. Gradually, through her nonsensical jabbering, she will take on a more deathly appearance. She will become more emaciated. Her hair will fall out. Her eyes will slowly shrink back into their sockets until there is nothing there. Her face will take on a more snake-like appearance, with slits for nostrils and needle-thin lips. Her enunciation will become more snake-like. You will now be staring at the holder. It is of utmost importance not to draw attention to her transformation, not to recoil, not to dart your eyes around her form, and to definitely not gasp or scream. Finally, she will finish speaking and she will ask, Do you play? Referring to the chessboard in front of you. You may smile and nod politely, but continue to remain silent. When you look down at the chessboard, you will notice that the board is not what you would expect to find in a public park. It's a beautiful black and white checked board, so highly polished that you can see the reflection of the soul of anyone with it. As well as obsidian pieces, so black that light cannot escape them, and diamond pieces so white that all darkness is obscured from its light all chiseled in extremely high detail that you would swear as if they were made from actual people. Because they are. There will be one piece missing already. The obsidian chiseled queen, already claimed by him. Neither players may gain an additional queen, and you will be on the black side. So the holder will begin. When she makes her first move, Politely ask her, Will the one who brings them together have an heir? Before you make your first move, she will tell a tale of death pacts, blood contracts, and many acts of fratricide, so gut-wrenching and heartbreaking that you may not be able to hold your composure and sanity during the game. 
You must attempt to defeat her. She is a highly skilled player, so she will not fall for simple ploys as the four-move checkmate. To use such strategies is an insult to her infinite intelligence, and she will make you suffer the madness and intensity of every single thought of every single living organism in this realm. Beating the holder will be no easy task. You are already missing your black queen, so you are already at a disadvantage. You have no time limit, so take as much time as you need to make each move. But make sure you stay awake and save your blinks for her turn. Your opponent cheats. As each piece is removed from the board, you will feel the deep sorrow of every remaining piece on the board, and the pain of the removed piece as their fellow crystallized brethren shatters into dust. If she defeats you, depending on the challenge you gave your adversary, you will become any one of the chess pieces that were removed from the board, only finding release when the next seeker loses you in this holder's twisted game. If you are able to achieve the impossible task of overcoming her, she will crack and fall into herself in complete and utter despair of defeat. All the pieces will change from black and white precious stones to a gritty, uniformed clay, and the board will evaporate beneath. The only remaining piece will be the captured diamond chiseled king. Though the king is never supposed to leave the board, you may take this piece. Make your way out of the park and keep walking until you are able to feel the warmth of the sun on your face. This is the indication that the holder of this object, form and soul, has been wiped from existence. The diamond chiseled king is the second half of object number 853. United with the obsidian queen, it may bring destruction to all objects, but at what cost?